Welcome back to the RWB build. Today is the day we actually get the kit painted. It's a, a big milestone for us. So the plan for today is to take the entire kit to Tommy. Uh, he's gonna paint it all black and then we're also going to take the 911 there because he needs to fix the bonnet because it's not perfect. Let's get the kit loaded. <laughs> Now then, guys, back on world again. Ow, right, let's go. Oh, oh, I'm doing it in third gear. Oh, I pulled it off. Oh, Iveco, that's Iveco for you. I did that corner in third gear. This is it on the right now. What? <laughs> Coming up on Dickinson's Real Deal today. Oh, you want to hear me? So we are finally here in Sheffield city centre and you can really feel the industrial vibe the city has to offer. <laughs> finally here at Tommy's Body Shop here in Sheffield. Finally get this RWB kit over to him. We need to be quick because I need to go grab the 911 as well because he's painting both at the same time, the kit and the car. Let's give it to him. Ow, uh -oh. oh. Mission, mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. The kit is at the body shop. Now we need to go get a sandwich. Down to Rose's Bakers. I feel sick. Right. Okay, so part two today is to get the car to Tommy as well because we got some dents on the bonnet and some lack of peel. So I want it to be like properly fresh for the build. So yeah, let's get it to him. So we're finally at the paint shop uh, and everything has been sanded, prepped, ready to be painted black. The body kit is actually in the spray booth. This is the actual first real step into the RWB build in my opinion. This is some serious stuff. Now the issue is we couldn't get everything into the spray booth all in one go. So we've had to split off the fenders and we'll paint that tomorrow. But we've pretty got much everything else. Front bumper, rear bumper, side skirts, the spoiler. So yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> So we've done the mist coat of the lacquer now, second coat's about to go on. What do, what do you think of the build? What do you think of the series so far, Evie? I think it's shit. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> So it's, everything's 
been painted, it's been about five, ten minutes now. Uh, obviously this is gonna cure overnight. We can't bake it because it's fiberglass and it's looking amazing. I've never seen fresh painted lacquer this up close without nothing touching it. No polishing, no machining. Oh, it's so nice. It's like a, oh, it's like gloss, gloss black. And now I can really feel like the RWB kit is actually properly coming to life. So yeah, looking amazing. Next thing on the agenda is to get the tires mounted onto these Brixton's forged three-piece rose gold wheels. So that means we just need to go to a tire shop. So let's just get everything in the van and go. So the best way to get a tire into the van, bend at the knees, straight back, lift, and chuck it in. That's a big tire. <laughs> Good morning, Burn Green Building Company. Sure, I can certainly get an engineer out to you at the end of April. Well, normally we can find the fault, sir, within an hour, but if it is going to take the engineer a bit longer, then he will advise on the extra charges. That's right, sir. Sure. Well, right, finally at AP Tires, I've been coming here, sheesh, since I was 17 I've been coming here. They've been here a long time. Yeah, they said uh, they're gonna, they can fit these onto the wheels, so just for once I get to watch and not have to do any work. just need to do some balancing which they got a fancy new machine with lasers on it so we get these uh, balanced up and then I said really this is like the easiest part of the entire build <laughs> is watch somebody mount some tires so this wheel has a low point right there yeah obviously that's showing us on that graph where it is it's like a 4d wheel alignment for your tire it's basically <laughs> yeah it, it, it's what's called a diagnostic balancer. Yeah. So if, if someone were to, it's very good for this sort of thing, especially. But if you were to come in and say, "Look, Dave, I've got vibration issues. What You'd can be we do about it?" Exactly I've had what them balanced at X, Y, and Z, and it's not solving the problem. Yeah. This will find out what's wrong what with issues. Yeah, 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 exactly. And we'll go back to this balance. Wow, that is that is quite legit. That is. So this takes it up to another level. I've never seen tread depth ever analysed and it all on a glass and you can properly see so basically if you're having balancing issues that is the fastest way to diagnose if it's the wheels or not or if it's suspension I've never seen that that's genuinely amazing a lot bigger than I thought they'd be look at the bloody size of them great success Right, so that is the kit painted. That is the, the wheels are mounted. So the last thing to do was to get the exhaust sorted, but some delays with the manufacturing. So we're gonna have to push that into a later point, most likely when the Kai comes off with that exhaust. But that is gonna be a wrap for episode two. Stay tuned for episode three.
I'll go surfing. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. It's the freedom I like. Yeah, totally. Why right on, man? <laughs> I like to go with like the notorists, you know, because then you get a real feel for the country. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you've got. That's all you've got.